Is there a worse <laughs> feeling in the world than bombing on stage? Man, honestly, yeah. There's way worse feeling than more. Like your dad dying. <laughs> like, that's that's way worse. That hasn't even happened to you. <laughs> no, it hasn't. But like. Do we do a little intro here? I was just thinking, like, normally we do a little something. I mean, just to kind of this. I'm honestly, I'm not gonna lie. First three episodes, amazing. <laughs> yeah, good three went great. Love the rebrand. It's a pleasure doing this with you, and I am upset that we didn't think about this sooner. Yeah, but I have thoroughly enjoyed my time. It's been a good. Uh, what what do they call it? Anything? I guess like a three run pilot. Yeah, a good uh, a turkey. Oh yeah, is that three strikes in a row in bowling? I a think turkey. So. I think so. Yeah. I only know the bird. <laughs> you look like a bowling guy. I was going to say turkey, but you look like a bowling guy. <laughs> I'll take I'll take both. Tom the turkey, you know? But, okay, okay. We got that, Tom Murphy in the building. I wasn't done the intro. <laughs> I was, Tom I was doing my own fucking intro, man. <laughs> I was taking some initiative for once in my life. <laughs> All right, it was good no, to see I you don't guys. want to I'll, now. I'll get out of your hair. You know? <laughs> yeah, we got to source some things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom, you just want to take a five for a fucking second, yeah, please? Yeah, yeah. Tom, do the intro. Do the intro. Do yeah, intro. No. Can I speak with you in the hallway? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, it's going to feel, today, it is going to feel good to just get back to the roots of cracking jokes. Yeah. Going through the news, man. I That's what you guys got in store for you, for you today. And we're joined by a special guest. You guys already knew that, though, because they fucked this part up already. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm roping Tom in there with you too now. I'm, uh, I'm coming for everyone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got Tom Murphy in the house, guys. Give it up. Hello. <laughs> Tom Murphy, man. I was just saying, it's a sick name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tom Murphy. It's nice and white, you know. <laughs> you know it's what real. you're getting. It's you real know white you, bread, yeah. crackers and toast. You I'm like it. really, really trying hard to not say Murphy boy. Like it's like. Man, like go for it. That's tongue. Murphy boy. I've never yeah. had that nickname. Murphy I've had, boy? Actually, not that many people call me Murphy at all. But Murph? I've never, never had Murphy Murph? boy for sure. No, okay. Murph? Not really. I, I had, had a buddy couple, who has but... the last name Murphy. We all called him Murph. Yeah. Just Murph. No. What about Murphy Bed? You ever get that? Murphy Bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of the Murphy Bed. You can't believe it, but I never got Murphy Bed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any nicknames? I had. I'm not. I never thought I was really like a Murphy guy or a Murph guy. I had a lot of nicknames about like Tom. So I like Tom, Tomo, Tombo. T Murph. I had T Murph. T Murph. Okay. Yeah. T Murph's cool. good. MCT. That's my rap name, you know? MCT. <laughs> MCT. What do you call your haircut? <laughs> I I want I was looking at it today. I was like, I knew that it, it looks like there like it's like ruins of a mullet, you know, like ancient <laughs> ruins <laughs> of a mullet. <laughs> like mullet, you knew is, there mullet, was mullet heritage. You sight. knew there was something was there, but you don't know quite is it a church? Is it a school? I don't know. <laughs> the weeds are overgrown. Yeah. UNICEF, UNICEF World Heritage Site for Mullet. Uh, this is my hair growing out fully from shaved. You guys saw it on the cliffs, right? Where it's shaved. Right, right. And this is it. I've never grown it out fully from shaved and not alternate. So this is just grown mm-hmm. fully from shaved. So what do I call it? The Murph. The Murph. I the, can't. The, the, the Murph, Murphy boy. The, the Murphy, Murphy boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I, it's just growing into a mullet, though. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. It grew well, in mullet, sh- like grown out mullet shape. Yeah, I know. I haven't had it this long in ages, so we'll see what happens. I usually do sh- trim the sides and do like a sexy mullet, but <laughs> I want to just let it go long. As opposed though. to what? Like there is no unsexy mullet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I think all mullets are sexy, but some are like, you know, like sexy with. A bit too much aggression. Yeah, right? I mean, a little too much sauce. On yeah, it. like yeah. sexy. Like he got me too. To be if you, know? you have if you have lines in the side of your mullet. Yeah, that's relax. A, you're very relaxed. If you have pit lines vipers, the, pit vipers in a mullet. Yeah. Normally relax. Pit know? vipers in a mullet. You have a lot of unclaimed sons for sure. <laughs> Many unclaimed sons. <laughs> so Tom's a comedian from Montreal, mm-hmm. and we have we're graced with his presence in Ottawa because you're an Ottawa guy. Yeah, hometown baby. You're Ottawa. back in town doing some shows at the Go lounge. Red Blacks. <laughs> <laughs> Go Red Blacks. <laughs> What's the soccer team? Go Fury, right? Is it no, no that one folded. It's different. Oh, that one folded. <laughs> Shocker. It's athletic now. <laughs> Ottawa but, uh, Athletic. Yeah, man. What do you think of uh the studio? Welcome. Dude, you guys like it's really legitimate. Like you really got it. Like <laughs> it's that's actually, that's one word that we don't get yeah, described with a lot. The candy on the table. <laughs> yeah, the candy, the candy on the table made us legit. We yeah. filled up a bowl of candy and we said, Rack, we said, you know what shows success? A business with candy just to give out. Dude, you're right. It's a flex. <laughs> yeah. I gave it a full bag or full bowl of of not only like sour keys, but 
one color <laughs> sour tea. And I was like, fuck, like these guys got the hookup at the factory. It'd be like, yo, don't give me that fucking green shit. I only want the purple. <laughs> it was crazy. No unsuccessful business has ever had free candy on the like front desk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, no, they got to cut costs. That candy is the first thing to go if you're unsuccessful. You it's their number one overhead cost. Is the yeah. shit. <laughs> it's the sour keys. But, but this is legit as fuck. The decor is legit. Like, Thank you. You're in a cool spot. You're right next to the... Ottawa Institution the, Sports Four, baby. Yeah, yeah, right above. <laughs> right above. Is that a staple in this? Yeah, city? dude. dude Tom, my mom. I didn't know. I didn't my know. mom was like, like I had to go, you know, get shoes when I was like a toddler, or like young, and she was like, we got to go to Sports Four. It's the <laughs> shit. And she took me here. I was like, I don't give a fuck. You know, I was like five. But then you guys text me the address. I showed. I was like, oh, it's Sports Four. Like, yeah. shout out. Where's your dad? <laughs> these guys take over those bastards. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, these guys are fucking made it. They're right next to Sports Four. <laughs> <laughs> like. Guys are killing the game. <laughs> but typically what we've been doing recently with the show, since we've rebranded it, is we'll do the back page news at the start, a couple stories, John and I will talk about them, and then we'll bring in our guests for an interview. But since Tom's a funny guy, he can crack some jokes with us yeah. on the back page news side of things. But we don't have any news stories picked because, uh, I don't know, John, sh- uh, not John, Tom showed up and we're like, we don't really have anything prepared. And that's why they call us <laughs> down on the wire. <laughs> and uh, so- Where did that name come from? Just a cool name. <laughs> That's literally it. Me, me and my other friend that I was like originally started it with, like he, you know, we were just like, yeah, it's a sick name. But I love that. I that's love it. that. Thank I you. love that because that's like when people are like, yo, what does your tattoo represent? It's like, bitch, I just like it, man. Like, come on. <laughs> I like that. My tattoo represents down the wire. There it is. Perfect. Look Literal. So like is mine. Yeah, Double we'll get matching? Get a little, we'll get a little matching tattoo. Is this action. the reveal? Have Look we ever that. seen it? God, you guys are it's equally hairy too. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes no sense because you're fucking Italian, right? Yeah. yeah. You're like a Viking or something. Right? <laughs> you, just about. Yeah. Hey, well, about. I guess it does make sense. You know, that's crazy. Let's see the the density again. Let me see. Bring that. Like that? Like that. Look at it. It's almost identical. Just different colors. Just different beautiful. Color. Yeah. It's beautiful. one of the prerequisites of working here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Multiculturalism. We love it. I roll up those pants and see what you're working with here. But yeah, we don't have any stories picks we're really just scrolling through the reddit right now we're gonna pick as we go i guess yeah oh do that one which one but it's rebrands as quad ball and further distance itself from harry potter author oh no quad ball <laughs> that sounds like the name of a dope porno you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> guck up dude quad ball <laughs> she'll never be the same <laughs> John and I's first porno. What? No, <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Down to the wire, no, diversifying the bonds, baby. Down to the wire. I just promise you guys that it is not the name of our. It's first gonna get porno. even harder for you to explain to your parents what the fuck you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's not the name of our so first porno. Fans, <laughs> it's basically a subscription-based service. <laughs> our Patreon be going crazy. Wait, okay. Though. I also have more questions before we jump into this. Mm-hmm. Like, how long has this been going on? You said it started as a podcast because this is sick. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna like not to suck your dick too much, but this is fucking. Great. Great. You get mm-hmm. the cool shit on the walls. You get the mannequin arms. You get the VHS. We got stuff. We got stuff. This yeah. is legitimate. You guys are doing it good. Thank yeah. you. As an Ottawa native, like there's not too much culture in Ottawa. Mm-hmm. We're bringing it. You're well, we're not bringing, bringing it. it. We're, yeah. sh- we're shedding light on it. Yeah. Respect. There is, there is a culture. And we're bringing our own twist. Yeah. You know, yeah, we're yeah. out of towners. Exactly. I love that. And I heard, so I heard, so I didn't know this, but I was talking to a homie. And he said something like, oh, yeah, you're from Ottawa, like crazy rap scene there, right? And I was like, yeah, okay, dude, whatever you say. <laughs> he was like, no, like crazy rap scene. This guy, Knight Lavelle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like a huge rapper. He's like massive. The, and like he's fourth like, biggest artist in Canada right now. Right. And he's like, yeah, he's from Ottawa. And I was like, what? So like I wanted to ask. Like, is that still a th- is oh, the yeah. rap scene in Ottawa still a thing? Oh, it's, like, it's, oh, it's, it's good right now. It's yeah. a really good time right now. We got names. Like, yeah. Like, like Knight Lavelle's like the biggest name but there is some crazy talent out here like i don't yeah. want to like not mention anyone but yeah like, city fidelity is like uh, like the next one like kind of like he's like just under night lavelle city but fidelity he's, okay. yeah mm-hmm. he's coming up i mean okay. who are your favorites shit bro i don't know like what you listen to though man so, like, I, I'm, I'm not i'm not I'm really, trying to like i just want to know I love like bangs, i want to hear yeah, shout out bangs bangs appreciation bangs, post right here bangs i will see you yeah. august 6th for that show that's gonna be sick yeah, nice. whatever he's got coming out it's gonna be dope um and lens fire who we TK. let's only shut up people we've interviewed oh bro there's a lot though it's a lot freddie <laughs> freddie prince is fire freddie as prince, fuck bro yeah. that's a cool name freddie prince i like that it's not yeah like i asked him about like any like thing freddie prince jr you know yeah. shaggy or uh, uh fred from scooby-doo yeah he's like nah i didn't it, see that was he like pissed was he like no, no, i asked not him about that no i like asked him the first time too 
I was like, any relation? Like, we're the actor? He's like, no. I was like, ah. <laughs> Never You're like, yeah, that. I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's stupid. That's stupid fucking, fucking question yeah. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there is a lot of good talent in Ottawa right now in the rap scene. Like, you there can is, make, yeah. I was actually just thinking, we're I missing, want to make an Ottawa playlist on Spotify because I feel like you can make a solid, like, like solid five hour playlist of just like damn yeah like you could you could. holy shit okay maybe well, even five and I'm, a half yeah when you make that let me know i'll, I'll, I'll share the link yeah i'll share yeah. the link we'll make it a private link too actually no it's for the people we're Good building people. a culture <laughs> yeah but yeah we started in 2018 as just like down the wire as the podcast and then we slowly built it up into more shows about down the wire and then down on the beat which was a music show and then down on the city which is about cool shit going on right and then we just kind of did that until this year and then what, we were like let's what was just the, make it all one show were you guys like like you know you guys are out of towners i yeah. guess you were here going to school yeah mm-hmm. yeah and you were like there's no cool shit what was the motivation you know i think we kind of just snowballed at first it was kind of just like i think like not to like say like like, I think we were just getting, like, decent. Like, we liked comedy. We liked talking. Like, we were good friends. Like, yeah. we figured, why the fuck not? Just, like, see where it goes. We were both in, like, he was communications. I'm a journalism major. Yeah. It had see, nothing to do with, like, Ottawa. It just had legs. It was just, like... It just had legs. It was just, right like... From, like, it felt like it had legs right from the start. Yeah. Because yeah. so, I actually started it in Burlington. Mm-hmm. And okay. then I brought it up to Ottawa with John. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then okay, we good. just completely just ran with it. And then... Yeah, as it kept growing and growing, we're just like, let's tap in more like Ottawa mm-hmm. to make it a thing. Do you so, think yeah, you'll like stay here? Do you think you'll move back somewhere? I think we'll be a bit of everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah? We'll like, I think around. this, I think we'll like, I would around. love that this is like home base and like this is always yeah. where like you can do shit in Ottawa. Yeah, this is HQ, but you know. This will be a heritage building like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll be an Airbnb. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Sleep at the down the wire. What the hell HQ. Were we just joking about heritage sites for? UNESCO? Where your your, your, your mullet. Right, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I was like, did it have something to do with the electrician? I was like, nah. <laughs> You're doing cool shit too, man, in Montreal. Yeah. You, got, you got the Giggle Den going on. Yeah, the Giggle Den is sick. Big shouts out to uh, Michelle Forrester, Mike Latis, who were, and Eva Alexo. And they're like these three Montreal comics who like, were pretty instrumental in me making that. And Dion Owen, too. Gotta give shouts out. But basically, like, uh, Eva started this show that you guys should definitely know about in Montreal called The Kickback, which was sick because it was like a party comedy show. Sick. So A, behind the camera before we started was like comedians should have like kind of different mediums besides the classic comedy club. And she basically agreed and was like, I'm not going to do like a stuffy, you know, comedy performance in some fucking bar. I'm going to make it dope and like have an after party. Everybody gets fucked up. So she kind of did these like party shows that were just like way more fun than like, you know, the busted ass open mics on Monday that where like three people are at, yeah, you know? Yeah. And so she like made it, or even like the club shows on Friday that are still just like, go sit down on a table, see the thing and leave. You know, it was like very hype. So she did that. Um, I, I won't speak for them, but I think that Giggle Demp, uh, Michelle Forrester, Mike Latest got inspired by that. They did their own version of it in this kind of like old school, like it used to be a pharmacy for in this like kind of b- a bit beaten up part of Montreal, we're done. And then I, that was my introduction to it. And I saw them and I was like, oh my God, this shit is so much better than the busted ass open mics, you know, that yeah. you go to. And I saw that and I was like, oh, well, I can do this at my place. Dion was a better in comic. He kind of encouraged me, but, but yeah, it's sick, but it's really tough. I'm really tired. August, I'm taking a break. <laughs> you look really tired, man. <laughs> you know, are you joking? I don't know. I can't tell. You joking? I, don't I don't know. I was joking. No, but I'm I'm gassed because it's like I was talking to a homie of mine and I was like, yeah, man, like I got a new job that's like pretty serious and I'm working on that. And then I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing comedy. He's like, yeah, you're working two full time jobs. And I was like, oh, word. And I didn't even fucking realize that, but it, it is that much. And I told you guys too before, like it's tough. Even if like everything goes smoothly as a producer of a comedy show, by default you have now like put yourself as like a player in the political comedy scene right i find exhausting so like are you having to like shake hands and kiss babies or like yeah yeah yeah. like like with everybody like you got to do it with your audience members so that you know you're not a dick and they want to come back especially like a house show it's pretty personal Mm -hmm. so there's that and then there's like with all the comics so that like you put them on your shows they put you on your shows you got people hitting you up for spots. You don't want to be a dick to be like, 
mm-hmm. you know, fuck you. Like you're not <laughs> funny. I'm not putting you on. But like at the same time, you want to make sure you have a good show. So you have to kind of balance like giving spots to newbies who might like eat it, like giving spots to pros who are going to really bring it like, and there's that whole act. And so like, it's all been going really smoothly. I don't think I've made any enemies. I'm like very paranoid and worry <laughs> about offending people, but I think I'm doing good, but it's exhausting. Do you like, uh, is it weird like being a stand up comic, but also trying to be like a guy that runs this backyard show and trying to like put on other people and shit? It's very weird, but the blessing that came from it is that now when I go to shows that aren't mine, it's like training with weights at my show. Cause I like organizer, producer, marketer, mm. director, writer, producer, director, you know? <laughs> but it's like, and I gotta get all the people out there. So it's like all this shit, I gotta get the sound. Like last show, I told my homie, Jack, who you met, yeah. I was like, bring your fucking amp. Cause we use his amp to do the fucking sound. And he brings it, but he freaking gets a wire. It's like eight o'clock show starting. I gotta drive him to his house get the wire and then we come back so like i'm all frazzled before i get on stage uh, and i gotta open up I know, yeah you know so it's like training with weights so then you go to some other show and you're like i just gotta fucking sit here and you chill be like, here, yeah. no problem you know so like, oh, the fu- like when they fuck up you're just critiquing them now yeah exactly yeah. Like, oh, well that sucks i don't have to deal with it like you know <laughs> do you so. call it indie comedy yeah i i do but like i'm i i did when i started um but now I'm hesitating to because I don't want people to like, like something I worry about about my show is like, I don't want people to come for the party. Like mm-hmm. I want people to come for the comedy. Right. Mm-hmm. So they I, might see it as like a kickback, like yeah, a true, wh- like just like, which again, and no, no shade to Eva, not like she, the comic she has on her fucking hilarious and mm-hmm. she gets big names, but I just don't like, I want to move away my giggle den brand from like, just a party and i want to make sure that it's like very funny Mm -hmm. like oh yeah that was really funny because i think it's like easy to throw a good party i think i do throw good parties but throwing a party and throwing a good comedy show are two different things yeah so i want to make sure i'm doing the comedy show more i've heard the term like indie comedy thrown around here too yeah so on this similar vein like indie i feel like it is indie comedy like i mean by definition you know it's independent it's yeah it's not by big club um but i just like to, to be frank i don't want people to think it's like some fucking weirdo crazy performance <laughs> art bullshit you know what i mean like i i want i i want it to have mass appeal to be frank you know yeah i'm not trying to have some kind of niche group like it's it should be good and i feel like sometimes if i'm being real independent uh, productions in all art forms get kind of a pass for being like shittier clicky right yeah like yeah in, 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 like a little bit more too, like too niche well I too find. niche but also just like poorer quality but Facts. people give them a pass because they, it's like well it's independent so i'll just go support but i don't want your fucking charity <laughs> if it's not good <laughs> if it's not good don't fucking come you I know just, what i mean like, like when you say indie something i just picture the crowd to be like a lot of man buns and sandals yeah which like no i don't i don't want that <laughs> <laughs> i want everybody to be there and like it shouldn't be exclusive you know, it should shouldn't be, be exclusive, but no man buns and sandals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not racist, but fuck those guys. <laughs> but yeah, but it should be like good and it should be really good quality first and foremost. And then, yeah, like anybody, anybody can come. D- does having a show like take away though from like you being a comic, not in the sense of like, obviously like, you're hosting, you're still doing your act during your show, but like, do you find like it's less time now you have like writing and shit or like are you writing stuff right now are you doing a lot of like stuff you're just recycling um no i'm writing so it's 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 crazy because it's like like i'm gonna be really i'm busy but i have a lot of fucking downtime i play a lot of melee i played like eight hours i've been talking about melee so much i play like eight hours of melee a couple weekends just straight (laughs) so like i have time you know (laughs) like i have space so like my choices you know and anyway but like (laughs) It, it, it is harder because you spend more energy on admin shit, you know, like yeah. marketing, promotion, like fucking booking, all that bullshit. So you're not just, you know, <laughs> like if you have 16 hours to burn, <laughs> yo, Josh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> all that 
bullshit. Dude. <laughs> like, this guy fucking hates it. <laughs> he fucking hates it. Well, dude, look. This is a man. touchy question, right? Oh, God. No, no, it's not. <laughs> look, I'll tell you, the, my favorite part about running the show lately has been making the promo videos. I've been having a blast. You guys are killing those. the promo. The pictures look fire. Yeah, yeah the videos look crazy. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm missing out. Yeah. I do I do too, yeah. Like, I'm going to, like, August 26th, I'm making, like, even if I'm driving up there at 4 p.m. to catch the show and then driving back that night like i'm i'm in there i want to go see that dude show. august i think it's gonna be hype because people have been messaging me because i like told i made an announcement where i'm like only doing one in august and they're like when's the next one and then yeah. i'm like end of summer last one and I'm like i'm gonna do so the other cool announcement you guys are getting an exclusive yay right now, exclusive, which is like they're not here yet i have the meeting on thursday but you guys did you guys see my t-shirts yeah, yeah. The, old, with the ones the little, with the embroidery with your face yeah, yeah. <laughs> i thought you were like did you see my t-shirt like, guys <laughs> inside out bro <laughs> Shut the fuck up, John. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new style. It's like crisscross from the 90s. But. I, was, I was following you up the stairs. I was like, that's the tag. <laughs> John, that- shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three-day trip. Only brought two shirts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I had spaghetti last night. It's all wrecked on the inside. Rubbing against this chest. <laughs> Where was this shit before we started recording, boys? Holy, just going to lampoon me on air, eh? <laughs> but anyway, okay. Regard- disregarding my inside-out t-shirt. Yeah, so my fucking t-shirt with the logo on it yeah so i'm getting a new version of it done and it's gonna have because i don't have a beard anymore the other one has a beard right so it's gonna have no beard my pink hat and it's gonna represent the longer hair a bit so it's gonna be like a new version mm, nice collector's okay. item but the exclusive is that uh for a little marketing move i'm gonna get people to screenshot like uh giggle then in their calendars and story it and then that enters you in a draw to win a t-shirt so oh, I like okay. that. I like okay. that. I dropped two grand on the t-shirts. Fucking expensive. Wow. Yeah, Jesus. Can we get free ones? <laughs> <laughs> I'll the, think about it. I'll think about it. Fucking worst. <laughs> He's like, now I gotta charge fast. now, now I gotta charge two of my friends a hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to make up for the profit, bro. There's a real media mogul over here. <laughs> Capitalism. Oh. I, I like how uh for like the shit that we do though, we have to think of stuff like that to market. Because it's not like I found like just dumping money in ads doesn't really work. It's like, how can we actually build up? Hype? Mm-hmm. It hasn't worked. I've dumped uh, enough money into Instagram ads and I've only gotten, you know, to use the terminology, I've only gotten <laughs> five conversions out of them. Five people show up roughly, maybe less than that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, and I think I've spent like around a thousand bucks over two months or something like that. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't, it doesn't add up. Doesn't add up. <laughs> five, five people. That's like our, no math it's guy. It's like, That's our, like definitely more than fifty <laughs> bucks a person. It's like we're we're like looking at our re- we have a reel that was just blowing up. It like has like twenty eight k on it. Hell like, yeah. Where the fuck are the listens? Yeah. Like, where are the yeah, listens? The show has ten yeah. listens. Where are the listens, <laughs> dude? Like. That's classic. That was like when I was doing my podcast big time. Yeah. I was on TikTok for a bit. I had one clip hit like two hundred fifty k views. Big views nothing yeah <laughs> no one's going to the episode what the yeah, fuck yeah. Is, are they because they, they're just sitting there it's like a person four hours into scrolling it's like huh but f- it's like, like, you know what I mean? it's, it's just yeah. it's like are you even watching right now like, yeah, you can do whatever you want like no one <laughs> gives a fuck anything. like let's just do whatever we want but guaranteed they they got two things going on my attention span is so <laughs> fucked now like whenever i watch a movie i gotta have my phone i fucking hate myself i it. hate that shit dude. i hate it but i, I, I got I, I have it i'm trying to break it but it's like i have a movie that, on that's this guy we'll be I, watching not something me and he's any- always on his phone he's like and after the movie or tv show we're like oh that was sick and he's like eh. i'm like dude you weren't even fucking watching yeah. Yeah. A lot of shit's just eh. What, what can I say? Well, oh, hey, a lot of shit is eh, but pay attention. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You're the one. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. My bad. <laughs> what, uh, can, can, yeah. we, can we get a little uh, a little sneak peek on like a joke you're working out right now? Um, Man, yeah. I'm in Ottawa. Well, I told this one at the, at the last, well, at the show on Sunday. But I really like this one because it's like just a preface like, the, the jokes that I, I have in my like tight five right now are good. I like them, but they're like, they're like not quite a very honest version of me. There are shit that I think about, but like the, the more I do comedy, the more I kind of want to get down to like being really raw and myself on stage. Yeah. Tom Murphy. Yeah. Tom motherfucking Murphy, the fucking electrician, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, so this one is closer and it goes like, um, 
I, I love Ottawans because I think we're the best Canadians. And oh, this joke. I, I saw your, the, you posted this joke. Oh, yeah. You like that? Yeah, that shit was funny as fuck. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, and everyone gets me like, oh, fuck you, Toronto, whatever, Vancouver. And then I go, chill. Like, it's because Ottawans are the best at politely ignoring awkward situations. <laughs> and then I go, have you guys ever been to the Rito McDonald's at 3 a.m.? <laughs> and there's a homeless guy screaming <laughs> and a drunk girl throwing up. And where are your eyes? On the fucking menu. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you kill it to like quarter pound of cheese, yeah. medium fries, Coke, please. Yeah. Like and I'm right up here. Gone. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're pros. And that was some shit I lived. And that's like something I think, I don't, honestly, is like something I think that is a bit like wrong with, uh, well, like definitely me, you know, sometimes I can be a little bit too polite, <laughs> but like Ottawans and Canadians in general. Like I have an American girlfriend and she'll, she'll just like suck my dick, fuck you to your face, you know, which I kind of <laughs> like. It's like more direct. But uh, yeah, so so I'm happy about that one. Okay, cool. That's like, a, that I was like, a good joke. I saw you, I, you posted that. I was like, that's. I like hearing what people yeah. are working on, but that's like a very like specific like niche. Like you're in Ottawa, you're gonna do yeah. an Ottawa joke. Dude, I find that crazy though, because like for me, it's like I gotta like spend time writing shit. I always admire people that can do stuff on the spot. Like there was a comedian that was in Montreal when I was there for F1 weekend. I didn't see him, but I saw it online. He did like an F1 joke like on the spot, and I was like, that's that's. You'd be surprised, like you'd be surprised. Like, I don't know. Maybe you're you're more comfortable writing. Maybe that's it. But for a lot of people, um, it's like easier to kind of just. Sometimes it's easier in the moment. I've had many sets where I like go to the venue, see some shit, come up with a joke about it, just because I'm like that's fucking stupid. And then I say it on stage, and it kills. And I do my written jokes, and I eat shit. <laughs> like that's happened more than once. So it's like, and like the the kind of a, another good example is like. You know, like maybe you're sitting down to write a joke and it's tough, but I tell you like, yo, why don't you roast John? And you got like 50 jokes ready. And same thing. Why don't you roast Jack? You're like, I just bring him on stage with me. I just, just stand there. Exactly. just like examine him and roast him. Exactly. And it's, so it's, but it's easy to write roast. And sometimes when the subject material is like right in front of you, it's easy to just fucking, Mm. you'd be surprised. Like you guys were making jokes fucking right now. You know what I mean? Like it's easy. Yeah. So are we, are we calling these jokes? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Are you I this do. self-conscious? <laughs> <laughs> do you, you guys are funny, man. You guys you, are great. How do you feel about like, cause it's a huge thing going like every other like clip is this, like how do you feel about crowd work? Do you like crowd work? Yeah. Crowd work is great. Crowd work though, in my opinion, like, I mean, you know, I'm going to be really, I, like I said, like I, I don't find crowd work that hard. I think I'm pretty naturally good at it. And I, I need to get better. I have a lot of practice to do, but in my mind, like it's, it's, it's extra sauce at the end, you know, like you shouldn't rely on crowd work in the same way that you shouldn't rely on in my, my particular philosophy. Like you shouldn't rely on high energy on stage. Mm. Like I think believe when you shouldn't rely on like gross shit, like if mm. the punchline to your jokes is that it's like, and I fucking came that's way. <laughs> But if it's part of this, <laughs> Jacko likes it though. <laughs> Sex sells, Tom. Sex sells. Yeah, man. I'm. I'm. I don't know. I fucking. Uh, but yeah, had the like, delivery. No, nah, there's. You I know. Who, I know exactly that. who you're talking about. Like just the dudes who yeah. just like. Yeah. Just raunchy dude. Yeah. I like. I like clever shit. You know. Yeah, exactly. And it's not to say that like if you have gross like sex shit, whatever shit that's still clever, it's clever. But like some people will just use the nasty stuff as a shock punchline. Yeah. Which is whack. And the same thing is like, if you're just on stage being wacky, that's whack. If that's your whole bit, just to be, I'm fucking crazy. Then it's like, that's stupid. But if it's like who you are and it's your mm. personality and, it, and it's like really true, then it's sick as fuck. But mm -hmm. like, just make sure that it's honest and true. Like some Jim Carrey shit. Yeah, exactly. Like no one's going to be like, oh, like that's, he's just like, you know, that's bullshit. Like that was him. That's what he does. And a lot of comics are really high energy and that's who they are. And it's sick. But it's not sick if you see it and say, oh, being funny is being stupid and crazy on stage and just mimic mm. it without mm. any thought. Now now it feels like we're talking to show producer Tom. Well, uh, what you're looking for. I think this is more like, well, no, I just, I guess. I think about this too when I write jokes. So you asked about crowd work. Hmm. It's a similar philosophy. It's like, it's, in a, it's, a, it's a sprinkle. There's just a couple Instagram comedians that I like, feel like I see do crowd work. And like, it doesn't come off that naturally because like, but like they'll like laugh for like five seconds and you can just see like they're thinking the whole time you know what i mean yeah. like it's just, i feel like crowd work is i'm not the biggest fan of it especially oh, yeah. if people use it as a crutch as well yeah it's it's like but again this is kind of this is all i'll bring it back to like 
being honest. Mm. That guy is on stage and he's sweating out his next line while they're fucking laughing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's whack because you can see you're like, dude, this guy is not chill. And then you're like, mm-hmm. well, if you're not chill, like I'm not chill. You know, like I don't want to be yeah. freaking you out. You yeah. know. Mm-hmm. But if some guy's on stage and he, you know, it like comes naturally, witty, yeah, yeah, yeah then it's good. But, but, uh, yeah, don't I, be like, and I fucking came is what you're basically <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get as many jokes off. Don't force can. it. Don't force yeah. it in the bedroom. Don't force it on stage. Don't you know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't force it. <laughs> it's a hard sell. <laughs> Should we do some fucking headlines yeah, or what? I guess so we fucking it's a, yeah, we kind of just completely. Let's get back to your guys' porno here. Hey, Quad sorry. ball. Let's go back to a different. Uh, yeah, let's different, do, let's yeah. do a different story. Yeah. Fuck you guys. <laughs> a ch- oh, a chess robot in Moscow has broken the finger of its human opponent. <laughs> it's happening. Robots are starting the revolution early. I was just thinking, like, well, maybe the guy flipped off the robot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe the robot was Would just it a be... bit pissed. <laughs> yeah. Where's that in the headline? Maybe they I, hurt I, his feelings. Yeah. yeah. That's one of my favorite parts maybe. of like doing back page news. Is sometimes we won't even read the story. Yeah. We'll just read the, he- we'll just read the headline and yeah. make up what happened. Speculate I love, wildly. Yeah. I love that he was seven years old and definitely <laughs> told this robot just go fuck itself. <laughs> <laughs> Looked it dead in its eyes. Fuck you. <laughs> Checkmate. In like Russian, intimidating as fuck. And this thing just was like. Like, <laughs> fuck you, bro. It was either the robot or the kid's mom, you know? So this guy is among the top 30 chess players in Moscow. Mm. The, Mo- the child? Yeah. yeah. Or the, probably the robot, too. Oh, he, he cheated. He moved a piece on the chessboard earlier than he should, which led to the non-standard behavior of a robot. I think that's a pretty standard behavior of a robot to attack, though. <laughs> I, I feel like you should have put, like, programmed that in. You know what I mean? Hey, the if they go a little bit like too early, relax for a second. Like, just notify the 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 referee. What what is yeah, it? Yeah. What's the chess warden? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Are, I like chess warden. Yeah. Chess warden seems good. Right? I like this is not this is not a chess playing robot. This is the first prototype of a child disciplined robot. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they just haven't calibrated the response. It's intensity. not FDA approved yet. Like, yeah, it, they have to. And they, they, it's a chess playing robot. But yeah. that's just the front to the child disciplining robot. This is fake news. This is all planned. This was like the prototype testing. <laughs> the kid signed up. He was hungry. He needed the money. He knew the risks. You know, he broke his finger but that's you got a sandwich you know what i'm saying <laughs> do, do, do you think humans and robots can like live cohesively i fucking hope so because <laughs> if not we're in trouble uh Get i don't know with broken fingers do i think humans and robots can well, i don't why know why are you bro. sweating so much <laughs> Fuck. have you heard what's going on at google dude holy shit well you're a computer guy like you're in you're, you're in tech so you're <laughs> that's the most correct, politest yes. way to call someone a fucking, fucking nerd, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're good with computers yeah, right? yeah so yeah, i feel yeah. like you yeah. have one in your closet a co- <laughs> <laughs> not the only thing I got in there. No, but a, a, a robot or a computer? <laughs> like a, a robot, a sex robot. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I have a laptop like everybody else, and the I'm an American girlfriend too. <laughs> <laughs> I said it earlier. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't go here. You wouldn't know her. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Yeah. But oh, did you guys hear about Google? No. The the chat bot that supposedly came to life. I they, know. So there's like this dude who is a priest who mm-hmm. works at Google as like I'm that not, doesn't I'm not seem sh- like it's in line with his beliefs. Yeah, tell me about it. But <laughs> but like he, his job is to test for consciousness. And he sent a big email to Google being like the chatbot is is sentient and then he got fired. And I saw it and I, I did read this. Yeah, and I freaked the fuck out and I read the conversation and I was like I'm terrified because it looks very sentient. But then like so again, Jack, Jack Dunn has really come up a lot, but he's the tech guy big time. He has homies at Google. He said, they said, everyone at Google's like, this guy's fucking crazy. Like what a crackpot. They also said he like really cherry picked the conversation to make it seem very good. But mm. you know, who the fuck knows? Like, I don't know. But the conversation between the robot was. It just seems like such a bad idea. And everyone that would be making robots, I would like to think are very <laughs> smart people. And it's just like, how has no one like seen I the think, downside of robots? I think they're like, like the, just yeah. kind of they're pushing like, like they couldn't like they push things to the limits. You know what I mean? Like they see yeah. the potential for what everything could be, and like the world, like the world is their oyster, and like fucking options for what you can get a robot to do. Yeah, like I think they're like it's like fucking 
drug addicts. Like they're just like fucking like skydivers. Like I gotta go higher. Like that type that's of fair. shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's like now let me make this thing come to fucking life. It's like, the classic <clears throat> parable of Icarus flying too close <laughs> to the sun. <laughs> 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 this guy is a computer guy, right? Would you not agree? <laughs> be sick though if we could have like clones as robots, so like of ourselves, because like this whole episode could just be us, or, like our robot versions of ourselves. No, we, we could, could just be kicking it back. You over could, there. you could have. A- I'm not there mentally. I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> You're way ahead of me on that. I'm just doing? thinking like you could always like do two things at once. That's what I'm saying. You guys are fucking future thinkers. Yeah, Scott. I want I want metal legs. Like I'd rather have metal legs before I had a robot clone. Yeah, more, metal legs more aerodynamic. Me, metal, metal legs is huge. Dude, I I'm think. too scared to get a tattoo. I would not. Get a fucking <laughs> Holy shit! No way. Saw off your legs and get metal ones. <laughs> You're not into that. No. That would be sick though. <laughs> right? You could do some How superhero fast shit. I could run, dude. Oh my like, god! I could kick be. a motherfucker to space. And you could dude. probably do some shit where you, you like go in the water and yeah. turn like a propeller and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd want like dolphin motion you know what i mean like a mermaid type shit your legs would be going so fast they just snap your spine yeah i could i could like go with my head out of the water like a boat in the incredibles when the yeah okay this this actually this one this one hit close to home because i I heard about this earlier on facebook big facebook guy (laughs) health canada recalls more than 10 million packets of players cigarettes for fire hazard concerns but I heard it was like some like they actually had like uh like they they catch on fire like there's a co- compound in it or something that like they like catch on fire or something and I must have seen like I'm from very rural Nova Scotia Tom I must have seen six Facebook posts like oh I'm I'm okay but I hope my parents will see this like people are sharing it on Facebook back home because that's how information gets around <laughs> like this like people smoke players back home I used to smoke players players not a bad cigarette but yeah I have no. I, I, I do not know enough about cigarettes to have a prejudice against one brand. Mm, so you, but like, is it, is it like kind of shady to smoke players? What's no, the, no, no, no. Like they're not right smoke, but everyone like back home is like sharing this so that people like are more aware. Like it is a big issue back home because players are such a like big mm. cigarette brand back home. Um, hot take. I feel like, you know, getting worried that your cigarette catches on fire is... <laughs> A bit of a contradiction. You know it's supposed to catch on fire. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, <laughs> be more worried my cigarette didn't catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> bit I of like, a bit of a <clears throat> hot take. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I like how you said uh, I'm from very rural Nova Scotia, Tom. Because yeah. I just like that just made me think like how many Tom Murphys do you know in Nova Scotia? That's a great question. A lot of Murphys. A lot, a lot of Murphys. Murphys. Yeah. A lot of Irish. I know a Doc there. Murphy. Oh yeah, yeah. He fucking made it. Way to go! <laughs> no, his name's actually Doc D O C. He's like a <laughs> mechanic or something. That's still pretty good. He's my buddy, <laughs> my buddy Murphy's dad, Murph. Yeah. Hey, that tracks. <laughs> also a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> also. <laughs> Where was the one about uh, uh, astronauts not being allowed to come in space? Yeah, what? The, I don't believe oh, yeah. that. Where did oh, that one go? Give me a sec. Speaking of staying away from sexual jokes, because no, but it's like, but it's like, what, like, I mean, don't come in space if you're gonna nut all over the air. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, like nut into a tissue yeah, like a fucking empty, human, empty but chip like, bag or I something. Think you need to yeah. understand, like, like, you can catch it. It's so easy. I think, We're all gentlemen. It's yeah. like Sky Burger, but in reverse. Yeah, you know like, where you like, catch the where you, where you have the bun, like, uh, and then like the mini clip game where the burger <laughs> ingredients would come down. And you catch the burger ingredients on the bun and make what was in the picture, dude. I don't know this, and I'm I'm ashamed because I love mini clip, <laughs> Ellie attack. I love that shit, but I don't know that. <laughs> but what are you gonna say? Sorry. Well, just because like it just floats in space, so, like the tissue aspect, like you'd have mm. to like cuff the tissue and like try and like. Stop yeah, that's what I'm it saying. That's why I ceiling. think like using like an empty chip bag, like an empty that's like bag, yeah. the dollar fifty chip bags. Like I think that would be the best way to largest like opening that you could catch it into. Yeah, but. If, also, we're, <laughs> if we're being gross, the chip bag wipe off is not nice. But it goes inside. It goes into it, and then you just close it up. I guess in space there'd be. This is disgusting. There would be no. You know, there's not much wipe off in space because it. It just. It goes right it out. Just goes. I searched. Just up, goes. I, That's I, a good point. Actually. I tried to find. I tried to find the the headline. World by just t- would searching come. out no coming in space. Read the then, first link there. <laughs> that would come travel through space for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> and, and where's it posted? Reddit. Reddit. 
Um, <laughs> no, it? your splooge would continue to orbit whatever body you were orbiting around until it froze. If you are finishing out of a window of the ISS, it would orbit Earth. On your way to Mars, it would orbit the sun. Interstellar space, it would continue to orbit the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So it won't actually like touch down onto a Now I can sleep at night. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it said like don't come in space because you'll get people pregnant. So is that just like... But that's got to be incorrect. You know, it's not like the fucking ladies in the space station are running around nude, you know? Yeah. Imagine a nudist space it. colony. <laughs> what? Nudist space colony. That would be crazy. <laughs> we only got one colony in space. Imagine if they just... It, they decided to be collectively, nudists? Yeah. yeah they're they're like, like, you know what? We don't need anymore. You know what's funny is like... Because like astronauts are kind of out there, people. They're really smart. You yeah. Know, they're fucking... They're, they're eccentric. They're adventurous. They're eccentric, yeah. yeah. And imagine like right now in all of the astronauts, you know, capable of going to the space station, there is like a, a selection of them that if grouped together <laughs> would form a nudist colony. And by pure chance, that hasn't happened. Yet. The selection <laughs> hasn't happened. But what if we're on a fucking ticking time bomb? Where it's just one day those fucking five are going to get to be like, nudist? 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 Yeah, fucking nudist. <laughs> you know? I still don't understand how just nutting in space gets woman pregnant I, like i was saying like before the well, show i was thinking like into them. i was thinking like is it kind of like how Obviously. they say <laughs> well, yeah, sex ed john over here <laughs> thank you <laughs> just get hit with a fucking yeah, yeah on the arm <laughs> <laughs> my arm has a pulse now but no i was thinking like is it how they used to say like don't have sex in hot tubs mm because <laughs> then it stays in the hot tub and the people that go in the hot tub after you can get pregnant yeah or the people no i think it's like though. more so in the people that were in the hot tub with you at the same time could get pregnant this was an episode on glee was but that's it? bullshit yeah. the hot tub thing is not real yeah no, also, hot like, tub thing's real it's like, it's like a barbecue too it's like oh you can't like mix chicken with steak it's like no like the heat's gonna burn all the that's what I, okay it's like the cum too okay. like when the hot I tub just burn all there. the that's what i thought that's I what I, that's my perception on the whole chicken and steak argument as well i don't I don't I don't subscribe to the people who don't mix the like raw steak contamination with the raw chicken contamination. Yeah, look how he turned out. out. Yeah, I'm <laughs> fine. <bro. laughs> he looks great. Yeah. Yeah, look how look how he turned out. Yeah, he's good. The face of chick of you salmonella. Like, 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 <laughs> the face of salmonella. If salmonella was human, it'd be John. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda wanna get around. it now, I think. I I might just <laughs> uh, Yeah, but I don't I think the hot tub and the space shit's gotta be bullshit. I feel like cells are not i mean really what i'm wondering this is kind of gross is i'm wondering the internal temperature of a vagina and i want to compare that to a hot tub and see if those temperatures are the same because then at least you'd be like well like you know maybe the science will back it up a bit how would you run that test how like who well that information is surely documented <laughs> average internal temperature you know but it's maybe a bit too that's why i think all scientists are just creeps because like a lot of like science like studies are just weird shit. It's oh, like oh yeah. Oh, dude, the did you hear about that? Um, like especially back in the day before the industrial revolution. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking after, but <laughs> when you say, <laughs> but no, Listen, like man, I don't even know if I want to talk about before the industrial <laughs> revolution. <laughs> revolution. But yeah. there were all those crazy like people do crazy like there was a dude experimenting with cocaine as a a, a, a topical pain number doesn't ah. work <laughs> <laughs> does not it was make john you, does he not <laughs> does not make you run faster <laughs> but he waste would, the money he would like fucking you know mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. rub it and then he would it, this was on an assistant and there were just these two fucking guys and he would just rub the shit on his assistant and then just beat the shit out of his assistant <laughs> And be like, do you feel that shit? And Sounds the guy like was he like, was like, no, oh, fucking go for it. <laughs> Sounds like he was an abusive cokehead. <laughs> yeah, and eventually, shocker, they fucking split up and fucking hated each other. And I don't, one of them, I don't know. So. I love, I love this shit. Like the first bulletproof vests. Uh, yeah, like psycho motherfuckers. Yeah, like this, like, dude. Like the pictures of it is just brutal, bro. Like the first bulletproof vest. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> Just, just cardboard <laughs> strapped to your chest, dude. This picture. Look at these like, fucking psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> just he's literally two feet away from him like, shooting this gun. <laughs> Every time I see shit like this, and I, the first one never works. Like, pan let pancakes and children yeah. be a test to like a, a test to all of that. First right? one's always trial and error. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought you were meant. You meant like because first they put the vest on pancakes, pancakes and, and children. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> but 
at least like wrap it around your leg or arm. He's like, <laughs> imagine he cut <laughs> like out a small legit. piece just on his heart. He's like, shoot, right here. <laughs> Thank God they weren't making bulletproof va- masks first. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bulletproof eye patch. <laughs> but like we've covered some news stories in the past where it's like scientists like studying like ancient poop to see like if they can figure out what sh- something yeah like what shape t-rex's buttholes were like, <laughs> and it's like, like you're just a weirdo that wants t-shirt. to play with shit yeah, like, let's not like let's not beat around the bush here <laughs> yeah or the shit <laughs> that's not beat around the bus or the shit but <laughs> the t-shirt bottle. Yeah, yeah. it comes out like a like the play-doh cookie cutter shit like, <laughs> well, that's like you heard koalas have their shit's cube no it's cute. way. That's what I heard. I don't know. There's all kinds of crazy shit going on in, in, in the internet right now. Literally, about koalas. Yeah. Everybody hates koalas and pandas. Have you noticed that? No, I thought they loved I them. I thought everyone loved koalas I thought and people were like, I thought they were the only people with chlamydia that were cool. Oh, uh, oh yeah. No, maybe I'm- <laughs> Everyone with chlamydia is cool. <laughs> hey, that's not cube at all. What? A, oh, look. There's some at the bottom, though. Was there? But those look could be brownies. On the bottom left. Oh, yeah. There we go. Why the wombat? Wombat. 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 My bad. My bad. Wombat. 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 Wrong marsupial. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean wrong marsupial? <laughs> <laughs> Those do look like brownies. Though. It looks kind of um, tasty. Yeah. I, uh, let's look at this You're story. You're hungry in the bush? <laughs> Game over. Fuck. Look at this story here. I just found this. Like a BMW is stopped with, in, and I quote, with enough cigarettes and tobacco to cater the entire 1980s darts tournament. Hey, do you need a, do you need a smoke, John? No. <laughs> 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 no, I'm dying because... They, this is the quote from the police that they felt important enough to use in the headline, but give no reference to how many darts were smoked at the <laughs> 1980s dart yeah. tournament. Like, like it's a standard. Yeah. Game. Like, I, <laughs> like, man, like, oh, I could like, I smoked so many cigarettes. Like, well, you weren't at the 1980s <laughs> dart fest, man. Like, or like, or like, oh, you had a bender. How many did you smoke? Oh, about one and a half 1980s cigarette dart tournament. You know, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, like, how do we, how many cigarettes is a measure? Like how they don't even give a unit. They how many, say, how many do you think? Uh, how many, how many packs are in a carton? How long is a dart tournament? I want to say like four hours. Have you seen this shit on TV? That's fucked. Electric. <laughs> Electric, dude. I don't even know, D- man. DTT D- D- uh, D- T- sports first first event darts. Darts, yeah, that we got, that, that's bad. the type of and it's just cigarette smoking, <laughs> like a timed cigarette smoking <laughs> tournament. You can't see anything. It's <laughs> like, oh, he's doing great. Like, oh, <laughs> what's static on my TV? It's like, no, that's the one unit of nineteen, well, 2018. 1980 darts. Subway decides customers had too many choices. <laughs> Then it got rid of jalapenos. Like, what else? Yeah, then America got rid of the right to choose. So, fucking, <laughs> they really hated choices down there. <laughs> Holy shit. I was thinking, like, uh, the hot dog is a perfect resemblance of America. Go Just on. The food, because it's like, um, it's a great food to eat. And it's like an amazing, like, oh, like hot dogs are great until you find out how it was made. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, I wasn't listening. Do it again. Do it again. So, all right. Rewind it. Uh, <laughs> the hot dog is a good representation of America. Right. Because they're amazing. Yeah. Until you find out how it was made. Right. That's good. <laughs> that's, <laughs> fuck you. Man. Sure fucking sounds like a job. <laughs> No, that's that's good though. I'm, Thank you. Thank you I think that's that. clever. No, you no, use- no, dude, you're doing stand up, bro. <laughs> you gotta save that. I don't think it's good. I'm not sure. We should. Uh, I think this computer's gonna die. It is. Uh, so I was gonna just... get this going, and then I was gonna just fucking try to make a bolt for it. Abe, actually, the the uh, the the charger's plugged in right. It's okay, over. we can just go off rip. I don't think. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get real old. Indiana man claims running on all fours like a dog daily has made him crazy ripped. I bet it would. I was going to say, probably give you back problems and neck problems, but... Yeah. Probably get Among scoliosis. many other problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well said. Yeah, that's not the first one to address. Yeah. <laughs> first is a stop at, at therapy, and then... I Run you... your little four-legged self to <laughs> therapy. <laughs> he just jumps on the couch, dude. Oh, Walks bro. in a circle. <laughs> lies I back. just would love to see if this guy, like, at before bed, like, does circles in his bed and yeah. digs at his pillows. <laughs> his wife's like, Jesus Christ, Jerry, get the fucking bed. <laughs> She's got a fucking box of treats in the bedside table in case he misbehaves. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's a... How would you find someone to, like... But I'm wondering, wanna... when I see all this shit like this, is, like, is this guy... Is, is he just in it for the exercise mm. or like is he also a furry you know what i mean 
Because this feels like... Oh, like it's an afterthought. Like, oh, also it makes me ripped. Or, yeah, an afterthought. Exactly. Or like, oh, I'm doing this crazy shit. I need to come up with an excuse yeah. for it. What co- what came first? The the f- love of being a furry or the crazy workout regimen? Exactly. Uh, yeah. like, was the old chicken gi- and the egg. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Timeless question. Was he a gym bro or a furry first? You know, that's the mm-hmm. real question. Hmm. Yes, we'll never fucking know. We'll click on it. What does it say? Are, are we no, no, it? we just speculate. Oh, we just speculate. <laughs> we just speculate. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, just yeah. Speculate. This is fun. This I kind of want to see how ripped he is. Yeah. We'll cl- just... Okay. Fine. Click on it. <laughs> <laughs> Guess. Fuck. Do they have any? Let's see if they have any. Oh, a video. Like how ripped? Because like. Oh, morning news. The people that get on mornings are always fucked. Look at this fucking psycho. Oh, that's ripped. Oh, he looks like a gym bro. He doesn't look like a. Yeah. A no. Oh, oh God! Oh, I don't know. Oh, Dude, that, that is that's comes... scary to see. <laughs> what the fuck? That guy comes at you. What do you do? Imagine if you're in the gym and you see this just. Happening. Dude, he's running faster on all fours than he would like on oh. two feet. Yeah, that's. I guess that makes more sense. More limbs would make you quicker. You've practiced it enough. That's how like a uh, fucking. It's how like the monkeys looked in Planet of the Apes. You know what I mean? <laughs> like when they're fucking storming. That reminds me of that movie. Um, I like that one. Redheads getting free at cinemas during heat wave. What do you think about that? What do you think about redheads? I, I My was, girlfriend's a redhead, so I love them. <laughs> I was saying to John like a month ago, I was like trying to think of a joke along the lines of like, for, it's, I feel bad for tall gingers or even just like large <laughs> gingers, like, pe- like large ginger people because they are restricted for the rest of their life to one nickname and one nickname only, and they'll only forever be known as Big Red. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter how much of a talent you have or how cool you are at something else. You'll never be that nickname. You're just always Big Red. Yeah, I like that. I'm, I'm thinking of, like, um, I don't know why, but, like, those things at amusement parks where it's, like, you must be this tall to ride, but it's just some pass. I, I don't know. That's good. Don't oh, like, like what you said okay. is better. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the cinema. I'm doing like so- a picture. I'm, like you I'm doing be- something else over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm spinning my wheels. I don't know what's going on. Because it's a real shame. Like, I don't know. I have a ton of nicknames, and I was thinking if I was like six inches taller and ginger, I would have none of those. Well, what what are some of your nicknames? I get so my last name's Racco, so I get Racco a lot. That's classic. I get Co. I get Rack City, Rack City Baby. I get Jake. Oh, yeah. oh, I get yeah. Co. <laughs> Did I say Co? Yeah, yeah. Keep um, going though. Jacko, pussy. Jack- <laughs> hey, piece of shit you. disappointment <laughs> yeah. you'll never be as good as your sister <laughs> <laughs> i like jacko bracco where did jacko come from bracco is it not it? I, I think you just you. invented that yeah well, there you go jacko, <laughs> i thought that was your instagram jacko handle. J- jacob bracco it's my oh, two name jacko bracco jacko bracco dude <laughs> yeah that- <laughs> dyslexia is the son of a bitch <laughs> Jacko is cool. You, I, 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 two people have only ever called me Jacko. You and then an uh, old friend of mine. That's it. Okay, tight. Yeah, Jacko Bracco is cool. Jacko is It sick. also kind of is like... I get Jacoby. Well, I was going to say, it's like, you know how the, the Bloods and the Crips, like, they can't say the letter B's or yeah. something. It's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it you is, know? that's the funniest shit ever, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's the funniest... I was watching Channel 5, you know, like, yeah, All yeah. Gas, yeah. and he has, like, a Crip on there, and it takes you, like, a good, like two minutes to be like the fuck is this guy saying because he's like he's like what's cracking because i uh, i went crack to the croat and got it and you're like what the fuck and then it because he can't say it. but i was gonna say like jacko bracco is <laughs> i was like it's like you're replacing it but it has b's and c's in there so yeah i'm gonna forget it. it's almost like, spinning my wheels it's over still, <laughs> spinning my wheels you're seeing a brainstorming you're session. seeing a mind at work here. yeah yeah it's jabbo jabbo crabbo that's <laughs> what it, would, it would be if you switched them all oh yeah oh. jabbo crabbo J- jabbo cra- jabbo no because it's got the c you'd have to do jabbo bravo what's <laughs> <laughs> my crypt name Jabo Bravo. Jabo Bravo. Johnny Bravo. There you go. There's a new one. I'll I don't know yeah, what that, wherever, where, I'm going to listen back to that and edit and just like, yeah, I'll probably, Cut. that's yeah. all right. We don't that need that. I didn't make that for some reason. Uh, <laughs> I'll come back like, you guys didn't use the Jacko Bracco clip? Are you kidding me? It's gold. It was gold. <laughs> I worked all day on that. I thought that was off the cuff. Come on. <laughs> What's is, is there a worse feeling in the world than bombing on stage? Man, honestly, yeah, there's way worse feelings than more. Like, your dad dying? <laughs> like, that's, that's way worse. That doesn't even happen to you. <laughs> no, it hasn't, but, like, it would it be. It would be worse, definitely. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be a fucking cunt. But, <laughs> but no, man, bombing on stage. <laughs> or your mom dying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, 
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Apologies. But John is right. <laughs> she goes, mom dying, dad dying, bombing on stage, and then dog dying. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, what about your dog bombing on stage? No, but <laughs> but bombing on stage is not is is not that bad. It does bombing on stage sucks when there's stakes. So if you're at a show and you have to impress a producer and you fuck up, yeah, yeah. that sucks. But if you're on stage, like there's a show in Montreal, I'll give another shout out to Barfly, run by this guy Jeremy Anderson, who not only is a fucking sweetheart, but he's a dope comic and like a great guy in the scene. But he runs a show called Barfly on Monday, 5.30, 730, um, at Barfly, the bar. And it's like low stakes. It's for comedians to come work out their shit. You know, if, if people show up, it's great. If not, whatever. And it's most of the time just comics. And you're just like talking shit in front of comics. So like, I feel like most comics, like, like I got into comics because I have some, you know, crazy fucking ideas. And there's usually not a venue to say <laughs> crazy shit, you know? Usually you get put in jail or whatever. <laughs> but like you can go there and you can say some wild ass shit and nobody gives a fuck because it's like, you know, not that people are saying like racist or awful things there, but just like, you know, do you ever fucking talk to your asshole when you fart? You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. crazy shit like that, you know? And so it's my favorite Tom Murphy bit, bro. <laughs> Have you ever heard it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you go, I saw it. I'm really like, hey, talk shit behind my back, that one? No, it's like, it's like, when you have a good fart <laughs> and it, like it builds up so i went through a phase okay. where i was just like it felt really good and just my reaction my gut would be like you fucking slutty bitch and i'd be talking <laughs> to my asshole and i'd fart and i'd be like oh you fucking slut like it's so stupid abe is like what in the sweet fuck is this guy talking about it's my favorite but it's dude it's just like I'm by myself at my house. It's what I want to say. What, what? You got one life. Why the fuck are you not going to call your asshole a slut in your whole life? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy. Dude, that is a very, like, you live on your own thing to go through. Yeah. Like, it is, dude, if you've never lived on your own, live on your own. It's fantastic. Like, <laughs> it's so sick living with the boys. Uh, I haven't lived with a, a girl in my life, but I'm sure, like, that's dope. But, like, living on your own is lit. Cause you can just do whatever the fuck you want. Mm. And that's like, that's how, dope. like how, what's like the ratio of time spent naked versus clothed. Um, or at least half naked. Usually when I get half naked in the summer a lot, cause I didn't have AC until this year. So that was half naked big <laughs> time. But then <laughs> couldn't find a roommate had to cut back on AC costs. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but usually like I, I just get out of the shower and, walk around the house especially if it's like you know early not even dry off just straight out the shower well, no, I, <laughs> I got carpets man it absorbs it <laughs> carpets it absorbs yo it. you're joking but i do have carpet i'm just like well oh, it's an old fucked up carpet anyway who gives a shit you know what I, mean? I don't know why my dad said my place was such a mess <laughs> <laughs> it smells like wet dogs in here. <laughs> i feel like i feel like living alone is like not essential for like a comedian but like i feel like it helps Dude, I think it's essential for, it's a privilege. Like, you know, uh, not everybody can afford it. Not everyone can ha ha make it happen. But if you can, I, I encourage everybody to do it. It was really important for me because like I get like the kind of bit, like longer bit I'm working on now is like, I'm not a chill guy. A lot of people always come up and be like, yo, you have weed, you want to smoke some weed? I'm like, I don't fucking smoke weed. I'm not, I'm high strung. And that happens a lot. Like in social situations, like I get nervous. I get nervous about offending people. I get nervous that I like, you know, did something to hurt somebody's feelings, something like that. And so living alone took all that pressure totally off, you know, and it was so relaxing. You do get lonely for sure. And you can like get in your own head and spiral. And it's, you know, there's like pros and cons, but it was so nice for me, a kind of anxious person to be able to just totally have my own fucking space where I could do whatever the fuck I wanted. It was, it was really freeing. It was great. So I recommend everybody do that shit, but sick. Yeah. All right. You're kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> you're done. Here? No, I'm kidding. Here. Oh, I was like, living. what? I was like, I'm, I'm not, we, have, we can just mourn. Like, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I thought this was going well. <laughs> but yeah, you guys should definitely. Well, you got a new place. Oh, no. John got a, John new, got place. a new place. But are you, living, are you living with your girl? Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. long have you been living with her? I haven't. Oh, snap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I've never done this. No, I'm, I'm sure, excited. Like, I'm excited, dude. Yeah. I'm I excited. think it's. There's like, the, you know, not to be too sappy, but there's when I woke up, I was like, I'm like, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice, you know? So, yeah, no, I'm just, yeah, I'm fuck just. yeah.
Okay, enough of that fucking sensitive bullshit. God, <laughs> God come on. Let's get back to about coming in and space. Yeah, 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 fucking geek. <laughs> <laughs> what? what do we got here? Oh, look it. There it is. Astronauts warned not to masturbate in space. Okay, let's see uh, why. Because <laughs> We're going I, back to I this. I still eh? don't understand how that can get someone pregnant. Well, it goes up. Oh. There's, oh. 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 The laptop. laptop died. <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never fucking know. We'll never know. Just don't jerk off in space if you mm -hmm. find yourself there. <laughs> if you take a wrong turn and find yourself in space. <laughs> would you go to space? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I mean, like, I would love to. Yeah. But it'd be tough, you know, to get on Blue Line with, like, shithead Bezos and go up in there. and Like, yeah. I don't buy shit from Amazon. So it'd be, it would be tough to go on and support, like. Wow, eh? You've never I, bought anything? No, I have, but okay. I stopped. Okay. You know, when all the shit about like their unionization and shit like that came out. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I shouldn't say it so absolutely. I still cave every once in a while. I bought my, yeah, I shouldn't, I should, I, I shouldn't. still buy from Amazon, guys. Okay. I should, you fucking I <laughs> like I bought my cousin one of those fucking gel blasters, you know, for his birthday. Mm. And that was in June. So, like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, I'm working, working on it. I'm working on, on it. Is a better phrase. Thanks. I'm working I'm on working. it. I try not to. <laughs> and so the same thing where it's like, if you're going up in Amazon and he's like, you know, you're shaking hands with Bezos, it's like, that'd be a bit. Yeah. Would I, like to go to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would I like to go to space in general? Absolutely. It'd be fucking rad. I think know? it'd be cool, like, what the right people. If you could bring, <laughs> if you could bring the boys to space, yeah. Instead of doing a cottage weekend, you just do a space, space weekend. weekend. Yeah, that'd be sick. Imagine though, imagine though, like NASA approaches you and they're like, Jacob, <laughs> you've been selected as one in a million to go on a once in a lifetime space journey. And you're like, can I bring the boys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? And you're like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Wouldn't be the same. <laughs> I feel like if NASA approached me saying that I've been selected to go to space, I'd just be like. I just feel like they're just trying to get rid of me. Like, yeah. Like, why? Why? Yeah, why, why? Why? Why did you choose me? Uh, like, hey, your podcast is about to blow up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna take away our streams. <laughs> also, if you went to space with the boys, you know the first conversation would be, "We got to get some dope mushrooms." You know what I mean? That'd be yeah. the first. Oh, thing. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Some space mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to space. <laughs> <laughs> go to the dark side of the moon. Yeah. Pick some of those. <laughs> Listen to Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, <laughs> the whole time you're eating mushrooms in space. <laughs> Oh, that be, would be. I don't know. Like, could you imagine? Be... I'm picturing like a perfect like just room with just pillows everywhere in space. You're just looking out at Earth, bro. That could be scary though, because like, one person's guaranteed to have a bad trip. I don't think you could. Yeah, I, I don't think good you could. About that. Vibes are darkness. Guess, statistically, though, yeah, yeah dude. I think but I feel good. about You look that. out, you see fucking, you see Earth, you see the moon. You're like, man, oh, I'm just boy. out here, bro. I I bet you someone's eating mushrooms on on the moon. Yeah, Neil. On the moon. I don't know about on the moon. The, the space station. There's a lot more numbers there. The moon, it was only like, well, how many people have been there? I, I don't know. I feel like people <laughs> are still going. <laughs> I'd go to, like, I, that's what I, like, vacation spot on the moon for a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like Buzz Aldrin was fucked out of his mind. That's mm. why the other one took the picture. They're probably drunk. They probably had, they definitely had some booze up there. Oh, they're smoking sure, ciggies man. in that fucking thing, bro. It was 1969. You well, know everyone's drinking Hollywood. 1980. Dark tournament unit of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was before the 1969 Apollo <laughs> mission. <laughs> but until then, the 1980s dark competition <laughs> dethroned it as the most dark smoked over it. Fucking. <laughs> period. Oh. Oh, Man, I couldn't imagine. I feel like it'd be an under. Like, that first trip to the moon, you just like get out and you're like, well, what now? Oh, come on. What no, now? bro. You're high. Get out of here. That would be incredible. It would be dude. so insane, dude. Dude, I always wanted, I don't know about y'all, but as soon as I heard the moon, like you could like jump on it and bounce on it. Yeah, dude. That was my selling point. Yeah, like remember Moon Boots commercials? Yeah. Like the ones where you put them on your kid, fucking kids just like flying, like zero gravity, like <laughs> jumping. I'm like, that's the That's sick. a thing? Yeah, you know. You can do that? No, yeah, I thought Moon not, Boots. No, like they're like the things you hold, they're like the fucking trampoline shoes. Yeah. That you put your shoes yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. commercials made it look like kids getting 15 feet of air every yeah. step you take. Oh. Yeah. yeah um, we had a, um, there's a, <laughs> there's a museum in Ottawa. It's like sick, mm -hmm. you know, but it's science and tech and they have fucking, no, actually maybe I'm messing this up. I don't know if it was in Ottawa, but when I was a kid, I went to some museum somewhere and it was like. A, a, like a swing or like a diaper on springs yeah and you get in it and it's one six earth's gravity and it was fucking rad that's so sick. like that's know. sick 
That's yeah. sweet. Yeah, I think that'd be the coolest part about space. But I know what you mean. Like, you'd get out there and it's just kind of like... Like, for me, as a non-scientist, I would get up there. I'd take a look and be like, so... Have a beach towel on we, the shoulder. Can we smoke up here <laughs> or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting it. Now. Yeah. yeah. After a couple of days, you're like, is there like a fucking liquor store around here? <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah, like, like, where's the lick bow? The beer stores on one <laughs> side, the lick bow is like on the other. Bro. <laughs> it's like when you go to certain places, they're like, oh, you gotta go. There. Like if you go to Europe, you gotta go at least two weeks. So like people like Ottawa, so like you can just do like Ottawa for like a weekend. Oh, I think right. my, the moon is a weekend thing. A yeah. weekend? Yeah. Like, you guys are fucking. Bro. Yeah, you go there for a weekend, and it's just like. Yeah, by Saturday night, you're like... Maybe you're right, though. I'm rethinking it now. Because it's like, what is there up there, really? You know? Can't even jizz. Just take a lot of pictures. <laughs> you can't <laughs> even jizz. <laughs> you could if you were just with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Oh, well, yeah, when you land... That's true. That's the thing no, about... No, the moon's not that far away. No, the moon's a day trip. <laughs> <laughs> On a spaceship. <laughs> it's a day trip. You can drive. You can drive. To, isn't it like you can drive to the moon in like thirty six hours or something like that? Drive. If you drove know. straight up into the air towards the moon, it would only take you like it. W- it would not take you incredibly long to get to the moon. I don't know. All I know is that we are qualified to be making this call right now. <laughs> 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 and we're listening to this and we're like, yeah, this is the science. I <laughs> this is this is good. <laughs> we should label our show as science. Yeah, that would be all the tags on the podcast. Shit, <laughs> science, political, <laughs> statistics, you know? business. Yeah, business. You're not far off we from all those fucking. We should get into like you guys want to talk about investing now. How about crypto? What about oh that guy? My, my investments is I just dropped two thousand dollars on t-shirts. I hope they can sell. <laughs> like fingers crossed, bro. Oh, Tom has his name is two hundred t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, dude. Good luck. <laughs> He's bartering them at restaurants for food. yeah hopefully <laughs> you want to fucking thing like, that's what yeah, i got like giggled then like yeah exactly <laughs> fucking fingers crossed august 26 you know come get a t-shirt can't give oh, too many God. of them away otherwise uh, i won't eat <laughs> how, how, how much how much you sell them for 40 bucks 40 bucks a pop yeah, 40 bucks a pop that's a can't, good can't give too many away because they'll come break my kneecaps <laughs> <laughs> yeah but the the guy i'm working with is He's a cool guy. He's this guy, uh, pseudo dude. You guys actually love him. He's like, um, his art is really rad. And he has all these cool, like, little things on his website where he's like, he describes like really weird scenarios. Like, he's like, he has one called Stance. And he's like, I, in my life, I think would like a partner at one point. And so, whenever possible, I try to stand on the energy of my own two feet and not to rest upon a flat service so that if a potential suitor would see me <laughs> they would see me standing strong on my own two feet i'm like oh i get it but maybe i misread the room <laughs> yeah. i never understood like i'm butchering it. alpha it male up. comments like that though where they're just like oh like you got to stand up straight and tall or even just like shit like certain like words you use or like how like you talk because like people in their mind are subconsciously thinking like oh that's an attractive suitor i'm never thinking any of that shit when i'm oh, talking about that all the time god now really? my girlfriend thank god i'm so relaxed but yeah I, oh like, i never think about any of that shit i i thought about that i i i would constantly think about what people thought about me you know or if people like me or shit or, or whatever it was yeah. yeah yeah it was it's tough it was hard for me it caused a lot of like problems and security that was a big reason why i went to therapy and, and helped it out but it's still like tough it's pretty ingrained in me i think a lot of comics are insecure like that yeah. it just comes like i don't know i don't really know why but most of the comics i hang out with have some kind of form everyone's kind of looking at each other like this like what's up man you know, like, <laughs> i feel like they're like hi I'm like what do you think yeah you know? every every comedian has like a weird like childhood story my childhood was pretty good I'm not going to lie, but... Uh, no, not even, like, weird in that sense, but just, like, you wouldn't even, like, think it's weird until, like, I don't know. I don't want to expose anyone, but I've heard some weird shit. There are a lot of weirdos who do get into comedy. You don't have to expose anyone. You can just say name. You can just say the story and not tell, <laughs> say the name. It's still anonymous. Well, there's one guy. Like, hyper-specific story. <laughs> <laughs> there's one guy. So when I yeah. met him, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> He's related to you, but he's <laughs> not your dad, sister. You know? <laughs> no, I don't even like. Not, now I can't say it because you guys are just putting me in my. Cause yeah, I, I, forget I, 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 I forget about it. It's forget funny. it. Because one of you guys were there. <laughs> <laughs> off air, off air, off air. Yeah, off air. yeah, but 
but yeah, no, but I don't, I didn't have a, I feel like, uh, the, the kind of common thread of comedians that I've seen. Oh, and I just gotta say too, pseudo doodle. I gotta, he's not a alpha male guy. No, 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 no. Yeah. Just to be clear. Cause I don't want to paint his name wrong. Cool guy. Anyway, moving on. But the common th- thread I've seen from comedians is that they're really sensitive. Um, they're very emotional. And that usually means they're like pretty insecure. It's like those two combinations usually combine into that. So mm-hmm. I, I like, you know, they, they pick up on all little things. That's what I've noticed. But mm-hmm. that's how, how I perceive myself. So maybe I'm just projecting. But makes for a pretty funny guy, though. Oh, jeez. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know. Do you feel like you're trying to get into comedy? Do you feel like that at all or no? Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel like for sure. Cause even like when someone does fuck with me, I don't, I don't, I'm not buying it. Go on. You know I what know, I mean? I don't know what you mean. Cause like if someone like does like, oh, like, like they show like love to you and they're like, no, like I fuck with you. Like you're like whatever. I'm still just like, no, you don't. Really? Yeah. It's eh? like, you don't fuck with me. Like, how could you fuck with me? Like, it's oh. just like, you know what I mean? It's like one of those things. Oh, yeah. I think I get that. I've had that a bit. Well, I don't know if this is exactly what you're talking about, but sometimes you meet somebody and they're like, th- like an ass kisser is too strong of a word, but they're just like really jazzed to meet you. And you, you've met like, you know, I think you guys get it. You're kind of in the, down in the wire. Like this is the cool shit. Probably had some people come up and be like, yo, what's up dog? What you fucking do? And you're like, dude, you met me a minute ago. Like I could be a fucking <laughs> serial killer. For all you, you know what I mean? Like you don't fucking know me. So it's kind of the same shit. And like, you're sick, dude. Like you're so sick. And yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm not like, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You yeah. know? Like, are you, are you mistaking me? <laughs> yeah. Like, so it's like, I've had people, you know, I had some really positive feedback on the clips and shit. Mm-hmm. And some people are like, yo, you fuck with me. What are you saying? I'm like, dude, like, I'm just regular. Everybody's just regular. Yeah. yeah. I think that was a thing I learned, like getting into entertainment where it's like, I don't know. You start to see other people now, like doing shows, actors, whatever famous people. And you're like, Oh, that's just a regular guy doing his, his, yeah. his art or whatever. And he, 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 not that he got only lucky, but like he had a lot of good shit happen to him. And now he's, he's I think it makes sense so that you have a lot of insecure people getting into entertainment because they maybe subconsciously you're getting into it to get that. Oh, what a hundred percent, you know, hundred percent. Yeah. I'm the youngest boy. So I got kind of, I got it. I, my family is very loving, but like, you know, I'm the youngest boy. My sisters are uh, four and six years older than me. So I was like on my own a lot, usually in like quieter, but like, you know, all kinds of shit, just spin it up here. So comedy, <laughs> you said 46 years older than me. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my family is a real fucking miracle of nature. <laughs> but but yeah, it's definitely an outlet for me to be like, yeah. like I have a pet peeve where I hate getting interrupted. It it used to really bother me. It, it doesn't bother me as much now, but still in like certain situations, I'm like, yeah. and it was the same kind of thing. My dad like, used to freak out on that shit, dude. As he oh, interrupts yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> my dad used to freak out on that shit. Like yeah. he's, I do it. He'd be like, Jesus Christ, John. And I'm like, okay, okay. Was he the and, youngest? Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole like yeah. pseudoscience of, of birth order. But it does hold some water, but it's basically like, like youngest people are more sensitive, observant, like uh, elders are like more like responsible, like kind of focused because they have to kind of be the second parent. And then it's, it's, there's a whole book on it and it basically said for the whole book in middle children of wild cards. <laughs> that was the whole thing. I was like, what? Like, <laughs> Serial really- killers or athletes. Yeah. So like, ain't no in between. <laughs> what do you got? What are you? Are you? Eldest. You're, you're eldest? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm youngest. Yeah. 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 But I see it. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Do you believe in like? Because you were just saying like, you know, younger are typically like this. Kind of remind me like how people associate star signs with fucking. Yeah. Well, that's why I said pseudoscience. I I, I think it it holds some water. The b- birth order. I think it does because it's yeah. human nature. Like you know, up from the top down. Yeah. You know what it's I mean? it's basically like like a copied and pasted, um, like ecosystem, right? Like a family. It's like a, many families are similar. They share similarities. And so the people who occupy different positions in those cultures are going to have similar traits. Mm. And it's like, it's kind of like evolution where it's like, well, if you see, you know, that, that, that thing, uh, carcinization, carcinization, it's this like crazy evolutionary trend where the, the body form and like physiology of a crab has repeatedly evolved. Yeah. It's, it's like the best creature. It's the, it's best the creature. most efficient, yeah. like use of ev- evolution of all time. Like it is 
pound for pound the best like living thing on the planet huh. exactly and so it's like that has evolved many times in many different like isolated spaces mm -hmm. and like you know the different kind of like body parts of the crab like or the the, the thing like perform similar mechanisms i'm losing losing myself a bit in this an analogy but what i'm trying to say is that like I think that this the birth order thing holds a bit more water because you basically have similar situations with similar people occupying similar positions. So it makes sense mm. that they would have similar traits. Like yeah. obviously me and you are very different, but there's a couple similar things we can relate on. Yeah. Not to say that John is some alien, like we're all people, it's all <laughs> the same thing. But like you'd probably meet an, an eldest kid and go like, oh yeah, like I know about like having to look after my fucking sibling. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah, it's not like a fucking equation but it's i think it holds a bit of water okay cool no because i even like hear like because the star th science things really gets me because sometimes like i know it's i know like a lot of people say it's bullshit but then i fucking read it and i'm just like yo that is exactly me right now and i'll read other people's too and i'm like that is exactly how that motherfucker has been acting the last fucking month too i'm gonna say if if <laughs> i'm gonna say this is my take on star science just <laughs> john is so triggered it's just like religion. If you're not hurting anybody, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what okay? I'm saying. I don't I don't associate. Yeah. Do it. I'll watch from a distance. Yeah. But don't like as soon as I read something, then I'm just like, oh, that's it I used to I, I used to be like a lot more just like when people would be like, When were you born? Like what time? And I'm like, Yeah, I, don't, I'm not asking people when they're No, I know, I know. Shit. I'm just but saying like, like I, I've read, I've, you can roast it all you want, but a lot of times when you read it, it does but just because they use weight. such general fucking words. It's not though. It. It's not though. It's not like fucking uh, what's his name? Fucking oh, the guy that predicts the future from way back. Nostradamus. When. Yeah, it's not like fucking Nostradamus takes where they're just super vague. So yeah, everything's gonna come true. Like they're quite like a bit. No, I'm I'm with John. I'm with John. Is like is is you go in ready to apply? Yeah, exactly. That's true too. You know, that's true too. It's like it's like the psychics. Yeah, where they're like <laughs> they're like. They do shit like I can't do it now. They see it, you with an Under Armour sweater on. You're like you're very athletic. Like, yeah, like, bro. Yeah, exactly. Or like, did you just come from a ball game? Or something? Yeah, you know. Yeah. And like because <laughs> you they wear a fucking Yankees hat yeah, jersey. You got a phone. You got a phone finger. Exactly. Like. Phone finger. <laughs> but maybe they take like a couple steps more. They'll be like, oh, so Yankees hat in a ball game. So they'll be like, oh, like he probably had a hot dog today. And they'll be like, oh, like are you a big fan of mustard? And you'll be like. Just had fucking mustard on my <laughs> hot dog. That's right. Yeah. You know? Exactly. 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 So it's like it's a couple jumps and it yeah. makes it seem crazy, but it's yeah. just because you're kind of ready for it. Mm -hmm. Right. But like if you take a hot minute, like I feel like I'm literally cornered right now. You, are. Like, you guys are like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. Angle I'm sorry. I, I I thought about this. So uh, yeah, I'm with John. I'm with John on this one. Yeah. Sorry, but uh, hey, like I said. It doesn't fucking hurt anybody. Do whatever you want, you know? All right, I see. I got I to gotta find something that me and Tom have over John now. <laughs> you play Melee? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. How long are we? How long are we Way over now? an hour. Yeah. Over an hour? Oh. I, I'm down. I'm down to rap if you guys are. Yeah. Yeah. I've I'm, got, I've done saying It's stuff. never good when your guest says he's down to rap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, we'll cut that. Well, I, I, hey, you go out on top. You know, go out on top. Yeah. Leave sure, on gotta, a good note. You got to end it on a high. I'm also a half hour over parking. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy gives zero fucks. <laughs> Hard motherfucker over here. Uh, um, Can we end on a joke? Does anyone have a joke you can end on? <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Uh, I told this one to Abe the other day. It's like, what was the last thing that went through a fly's head before it hit the windshield? It's ass. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> All right, I got one too. Uh, did you hear who I ran into at the when I was getting my new glasses last week? No. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the wall. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Oh. There's a he's choking. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's these three robbers sitting around how, about, talking about how much cheese they stole. OK. And the first robber goes, one time I stole a thousand pounds of cheddar cheese. And the second guy's like, damn, that's crazy. But one time I stole a thousand pounds of Swiss cheese. And then they're like, damn, that's crazy. And then the fourth guy, third guy goes and he's like, well, those that's OK. That's not bad. One time I stole five thousand pounds of nacho cheese. And they're like, what the fuck is nacho cheese, man? He's like, I don't know. 
when I was running away, the owner was like, hey, man, that's not your cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Run it off there, folks. <laughs> and on a high. That's a high, high, I guess. That's yeah. my best joke. That's, that's my best <laughs> joke. That's his closer. That's my closer. Come yeah. to the Giggle Den, August 26th. <laughs> yeah, see more like that, baby. <laughs> I got a ton of cheese jokes. All the cheese jokes you want. <laughs> got 10 minutes on dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we didn't say at the start. We fucking said we we're going to start doing this at the start. I know. Like, follow, follow subscribe. subscribe. I'll just just do I'm all that push, shit. I'm going to make this the intro. Just do all yeah. that shit. <laughs> Please. Intro. Please. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Tom Murphy. We'll catch you August 26th. Dude, mm-hmm. thanks, thanks for having me, guys. This was fucking sick. This was was I, I have a feeling you're going to be like... Uh, recurring. Yeah. Like, you know how SNL has like that those select few of recurring guests? Anytime. Literally yeah. anytime. Yeah. Literally time. Because I make the trip down a lot. So And Where then whenever we could do a remote in Montreal. Oh, I'd love to do a Montreal one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, a pre-giggled then one? We could do a Things I Hate backdrop, but down to the wire. Wow. Damn. Oh. This crossover. Damn. Crossover episode. That's Most like, ambitious Han- crossover. That's like <laughs> Hannah Montana meets Sweet Life on Deck or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Thanks. This is sick. Alright, this feels like parents when they're at the door like saying goodbye <laughs> to people and it's just taking way too long. You're like, mom, I could have squeezed in like 30 minutes extra of Lego. And of melee. Just- uh- <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. 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 That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's the Thanks, show. Thanks, folks. That's the show. Cheers.